It's not acid. Okay, so I took two 12-volt batteries and I dumped all the acid out of them. Okay, I cleaned them out and then I put in a mixture, two cups of alum into one gallon of distilled water and I filled the batteries back up. And the batteries give off 12 volts with the alum spice in there instead of acid so so this water that's in here is not going to burn you and you can see the water but you can touch it it's not going to burn you you know take it out here they can they just rub it all over your face it's not going to hurt you it's a spice that they use for pickling um, some cake recipes have a loom in it too so it's, uh, these batteries are not acid batteries is what I'm trying to get across so I hook them in series to get the 24 volts to run this little DC motor now yeah it's overkill if it was acid but the fact is there's no acid in these batteries whatsoever it's distilled water in a loom which is totally you know big industry lying to us telling that acid is the way to go but you can have other things in there that would create just as good a power if not better it's more cleaner you know there's no acid involved how much would that save us huh anyway so the 24 volt DC motor this is a little tiny motor it spends 2,000 rpms when it's running on 24 volts and it's going into a washing machine drain pump now this drain pump is hooked up opposite of what it would be in a washing machine because it's in the washing machine uh, doing a benign job pumping water out and it, it <laughs> When you realize that this thing could be used to power up tons of lights, it's like, whoa, they've been lying to us about everything the big everything the big companies are putting into the washing machines, dryers, everything we've consumed in the last hundred years all holds hidden secrets about how they've been lying to us about electricity. So this washing machine drain pump will put out electricity that will not harm you you can touch it it's clean and you can hook it up to regular power outlets and and power lights okay and if you create a spark gap coming off this it'll not only create turn on some lights it'll turn on like a hundred lights okay so some serious power with a spark gap but even at that you got 24 volts going in by the time it comes out the other side you add up all the volts that the lights come up to and it's a lot more than what's going in and that's that's what that's the key here you're getting more volts out than you're putting in which is according to science impossible to do we've been lied to on a grand scale once again okay so I got these in hooked up in a series and I was just gonna turn this on so you can see it powering one two three four five six lights in two different ways so you got four lights hooked up direct and then one hooked up to a power strip just by you know clipping clips onto it so it's just where the power would normally go into the washing machine drain pump that's where we're going to get this uh, radiant energy residence this residence it's sound frequency that's coming out of there it's going to shoot out of there and it's going to cause the lights to come on so i just wanted to you know film that and then I'm going to shut the lights off and do it. See all the lights on? Okay, so what I have connecting these two is some electrical tape and some plastic wrap ties just holding it together so that the spin carries through into the the washing machine drain pump. So let's uh, turn it on again. So these are crystal uh, loom batteries, you know made out of a loom pickling spice and distilled water. It's 
so you heard that sound that's a resonance that's the the sound the frequency is causing the electrons in the iron to vibrate and then powers the the copper coil sending electrical charge out which is not the electricity that we use in the house it's totally different it's a resonance okay and I'm gonna do this with the lights out next I'm just touching it on. So, a little 24 volt DC motor is going to power all those lights. And it can power a lot more as well. And then once we put this through a spark gap, this the power that come out that send, we put a spark gap on it, it'll make 400 lights light up. So just two batteries could light up a whole street of houses. Tell me they ain't been lying to us. Or how about this over here? Okay, so what I did is we got an induction stove top. It's the kind of stove where you put a metal pan on and it cooks without causing any heat to be seen. So I built this simple bifolar coil. All it is is cheap wire on end in a circle, and then I have it wired. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. See that it's on a glued onto a cardboard a coil and then it's hooked into a plug and when the induction stove is on it creates a field that cooks your food but you can throw a coil like this on and then plug lights in on this side and you get more watts coming out than you do than the induction takes in so just another lie that they've told us you know these things have a Tesla coil bifolar coil right inside creating a field but it's a limited field you have to have metal on here and the field only goes about a half inch so the coil in there is real weak but we can get electricity to pass through it this is this is what a coil inside there looks like it's actually real cheap and the circuitry inside the induction stove top it, you would never figure this out it's all hidden from us we've been lied to about all the components we buy not just the stove top this over here this is a washing machine drain pump okay that where the power is coming out is where the power would go in in the washing machine again they use this for something benign but we can use it to generate all kinds of power. It's because they've been lying to a lot. Us, the big companies have been lying to us forever about power and how we use it. No one knows how electricity really works. And once you figure out that you've been lied to on a grand scale, forget it. You know, you start doing stuff like this. It's, it's all real, guys. We've been lied to about electricity. Okay, so this is the induction stove top see the plug I got it plugged into this over here so normally you would just take this plate turn it on and put a metal plate on there a uh, pot on there and you cook your food boil your water whatever so this is the bifolar coil I made fits right on top of there and it's plugged into a power strip and I got a light plugged into it because you know I can't keep the thing running with the copper coil on there so I'm just trying to demonstrate the fact that they build us all kinds of inventions but they give it to us they're hiding the real power the free energy that we could be extracting um, its resonance that controls everything and uh, I hope that makes sense I'll try to get this thing going one last time so again I got the coil that I, my homemade coil direct, directly wired into a plug, which has got a light plugged into it. Induction stove top, on, and a pan, which is getting really hot, because <laughs> it's been on there a couple times already, but I'm going to try to, okay, it's induction stove tops on, and I'm going to push this off 
with the coil and you'll see the light come on. And now it's not recognizing the coil as iron so the, the Tesla connection is not being made because of the circuitry inside the induction top not allowing it to work. But you saw the light come on that proves that it does work and if you didn't have that automatic shut off and you can have the field generating all the time then it would keep you would have more power coming out than you do going into the induction stovetop so just another lie they've told us another instrument another piece of equipment that's a freaking lie I, mean, I, I can't take this anymore everything I pick up and take apart is a damn lie Everything, everything from the big companies ever produced in the last hundred years is a damn lie. They're, they're hiding free energy, free, elect, free residence electricity.